Hey, 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 gonna rock the party down. Do, 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 do. Hello and welcome to Pat Plays the Jade Empire. We're done with this school, so let's get cracking in the Imperial City. All right, so I think that's like half the side quests here. We got to find those, um, I guess, the arsonists and the other guy, but I think we're doing pretty good so far. So we'll go to the arena. Oh, frame right frame right. Ooh, wait. Before we forget. We got some gems, don't we? We also got some frame rate. Right, gem of the inner genius. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all either. Wait. I, I like that. Do I have something that I don't like? Hmm. Oh, well, I'll save the shield as, like, this awesome, like, man, I'm so leveled. Let's find out where the arena is. Because maps! Right, so that's the Imperial Arena? Alright, so, hey, just straight ahead. Boy. Hello, boy. Hello, Kamina. Hello, face. Uh. Is there anything going on? Hello, boy. Let's see what we're doing. Bamboo cask! Gem? What? That seemed like a rather important barrel. But yeah, so... I plan on taking over the arena one rock at a time. Loading. That's kind of freaky. Alright, so let's just go into the arena. Let's make this happen. I'm gonna try and, like, knock this quest out. <laughs> That's all I see when I see that picture. Some dude screaming his head off. See, now, if I was going to do an evil playthrough, it would be as that guy. Because he would sound like Stephen Bloom. Be all angry. That's why my men brought you to me. Whoa. To finish this person. His face looks so much better than his head. But I... Don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang. But you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eyes? This guy is not rendering right. Joe, honestly, I... <laughs> Whoa! No, he looks just as terrible in the cinemas. Maybe worse. You needed something for to witness it one? <laughs> yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to... retire. Fell down some stairs. Alright, so this is the sucky guy I end up working with. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. Alrighty. What just happened? You couldn't see for yourself? 
I was just retired. Okay. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Okay. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. All right. Wow, you are a very uninteresting person. <laughs> What's your deal? I'm really angry. Her... Hey, the spirit font. I wonder if they're going to force me to use that after every fight. Oop, we got a thing. Gaze upon the Ravenger. The Raging Ox. Kylan the Serpent. Oh, wait. Nope, that's all of them. Mouse wheel action going on. The Thunderous Torrin. Welcome. It's always good to see a new face at the counter. If you've got silver to spend, I'll be happy to help you out. I'm known as Thunderous Taurin, and you are my most honored customer right now, so you have... Okay. What do you have? You look like a warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and sods... Okay, yeah, sure. What? That's all I need now. Stop by again, but... Wait, what? I own a shop, but I'm not going to sell to you. Third door... Alright, do we have doors? If this place is still looking to collect what I owe them, there could be trouble. Zao Zibao? Go away, I don't want any. Uh, I'm gonna hit you. Really hard. Arena Guard. Spectator. Vanguard. Gentle Breeze. Forget it, lady. I stick with male clients, and right now I'm on Judge Fang's payroll. He doesn't. What? Unless you're into something twisted. Then he might want to watch. Fang's always looking for some new perversion to make his little soldier stand at attention. Whoa, catty lady. Who's Judge Fang? Judge Fang's the head of the Ministry of Harmony. He's sitting in the next room with his guards. Likes to come and watch the... All right. The blood and the beatings in the ring get his fever burning for later. Sometimes that bastard takes it out on me. Other times... Okay. He doesn't seem to care either way. There are few things more twisted than Judge well, Fang's You are idea. very open about this. You don't like him. I hate him. He's a vile, repulsive deviant. He likes to hurt. When things are bad, a man like that leaves scars. Emotional... Okay. Look, I've been around. I know people do strange and disturbing things behind locked doors. Mm -hmm. But nothing like this. There's no act too brutal or shameful for Judge Fang. He's into all sorts of things, and he's no stranger wow. to pain. Wow, and no one must care, because I, I imagine you talk to everybody about him. What are you worth? I've thought about quitting. Every night. But I heard what happened to the last girl who tried to leave. Fang. Okay. He... He sees me as a possession. His possession. He's not just going to let me go. Great jolly he's music for this. He's got the power to find me wherever I run. I'm stuck with Judge Fang until... He... Alright. Bye. Good. You're not. Hapless Hand. Jeez, Hapless Hand. You've got a black eye. Dr. Ann. Did I finally find... Intolerable. One more mistake, Queen, and I'll have you retired. Finding someone else is your problem. Okay. But enough. Find a solution and leave me alone. Alright, alright. Hey, the solution's right over here. Approbate. Wait a moment. You, you have the look of a fighter about you. Wait. Those hands, that stand Is this Bill Murray's brother? I know that look anywhere. Brian you Doyle Murphy? You the most glorious contest in the Empire. Isn't it fortunate that Lucky Cho and I were just discussing how this place needs an infusion of new blood? This place can chew you up and spit you out. Or so I'm told. The drinks are the best in the Empire, though. There we go. Come with me a moment, and we'll engage Tate in some dissertation about <laughs> the best decision you'll ever make. Wow. Some verbatization. Yeah, that's right. Hand acting. This is turning out to be an excellent day. Most ostapacitatious indeed. There we go. Osta... Os... I apologize if I'm using words beyond your grasp. Very few people can match either the supply or the command of my language. You got that first part right. <laughs> yeah. A single glance tells me you are a remarkable woman with the perfect mix of strength and grace to grab a crowd's imagination. You mean imagination? 
The question is, can you fight? Yes. Are you worthy of the arena? Double yes. I see, the answer is a yeah. I may not have heard your name before, Woo. but you walk like one who has seen many battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What say we get you signed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to join the arena. That's the spirit of. I am Wu. Uh, right, a, a fine name, but it won't sell. Think of something that would. Hmm. The Silver Phoenix. Silver Phoenix. Yes, that's what I want. Then that is what you shall have. Come and tell me. Since you're new, you'll start in the qualifying rounds. All right, whatever. I've got it. Let's get started. One other thing. You should talk to the other fighters now and then. Oh, whatever. They're all one big happy fan. Yeah, I'm going to give you another black eye. You're a big happy idiot, hon. Without about to get two As black eyes. As you can see, they always <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's, uh, can I ask you... There's nothing else I need from you. I must say, I'm disappointed. You're ready to start your career, but you walk away. No, wait, what? No. I want to hear... What? Tell me about my next fight. For your first... Even our great champions start out against the ogre. Take Raging Ox, who danced around the beast scene drunkenly to earn the crowd's favor. Or the Ravager, who defeated him... Whoa, in jeez. I should take a moment. Okay. Yes, please. I like to keep things simple and organized. Any other way, and things get more convoluted than the celestial court on the Emperor's birthday. Yo. When you're ready for your match, ask me about it, and I'll give you a quick okay. summary of... Various enchantments woven in this place keep the fights from being deadly, but they're no less real. Alright. Are you ready? To yes. Excellent. <laughs> Loading screen. A new warrior does battle with the beast. Oh, wait. I don't think he's going to be hurt by my... <laughs> he's a stupid ogre, right? So they're not... Oh, this is all kinds of bad. Alright. There we go. Suck on that. was an impressive beginning. Normally I'd have started you off. Yep, I do. You caught the eyes of the other fighters as well. Go ahead. Oh, I won't. It really was a fantastic battle. Yeah. Beating the ogres, nothing special. I could have done better bound and blinded. All righty. Sometimes you don't even need to ask. One fight does not make a champion, though. There. Let's move on. Tell me about my next fight. Since you held your own against the ogre boot. I've got four boys from some school west of the city who've been bothering me for some tougher matches. I'm giving you all of them at once. Oh my! It'll wow the crowd and teach them a lesson at the same time. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's begin. Let's do this thing. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready. Yay! It's my loading screen. Four students test their skills against one master. Yeah. They do. Stony <laughs> There. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. Watch out! Oh! And. You're a tree. Uh oh. Let's make you a tree. And you're a tree. I might actually have to visit the spirit font. Is that didn't look like they reimbursed me for my first fight. Those boys won't be back anytime soon. Losing as a group to one opponent would shame a peasant, let alone a student of the martial arts. Yep, yep. Tell me about my next fight. The crowd's starting to catch on to you. Have you noticed? People like you. And now I'm I know they've had so much time to spread rumors about me. I'm going to have a roughly hewn statue hauled into the ring. I want you to discomputulate it. Destroy the statue quickly enough. What? Are you ready? Sure. That's not exactly what I want. Follow me and we'll get you ready. Can I magic the statue? Rock on rock or Maybe I'll have to staff it? Unyielding stone meets the press I... of time. Can I? This speaks very well for me. Staff, staff. 
There we go. Odd, it was like dodging the magic. The horse lords. <laughs> Excellent work. You have bested time itself in destroying that statue. No mean feat, I assure you. There we go. Tell me about my next fight. I think you're ready to face hapless Han. Yeah. Tell me you're ready for the big time, and I'll make sure you don't have to dance with the children. Any there we go. Yeah, let's begin. Excellent. Follow me, and we'll. All right, hapless Han. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna get rocks in the face. Can Silver Phoenix surpass hapless Han and leave the qualifying division? Wasn't there an arena in KOTOR 1? Email this webzone if there was an arena in KOTOR 1. Alright. Oh, hey! He knew how to fight my magic. And that was not stand still. Oh, stood still that time, buddy. <laughs> that can't be good for the arena. It's like, what's he doing? Hucking rocks? Huck them rocks. You dealt with Han very well. I knew you would. Yep. Kui, that will be enough. I bring you a message from my employer, Kailan the Serpent. He is Yeah. The Serpent wants you to know that he is watching your progress very closely. Okay. Kui, you may breathe again. That is all I had to say. Alrighty. Well, that was good, I think. Tell me more about... He has a distinct interest in the proceedings here. He is an ex-champion. Oh, now he works his muscle. He retired some time ago, even before Raging Ox, who was the champion before the Ravager. Kylon couldn't leave the arena alone. He has become a very important man here with the help of a group called the Guild. The Guild? What about us about? Lucky Cho is a thug, pure and simple, but he's very good at what he does. He's also a member of the guild and reports directly to Kailan. Okay. Kailan oversees things here in the arena. Kailan. And the guild ensures <laughs> that the authorities leave us in peace. I like this guy's voice. Uh, but the, the, tell me more. He has a distinct interest in the proceedings here. Okay. He retires. Okay. So. The guild is the organ. How do I get? Right now is a particularly dangerous time. As one of the leaders of the guild has recently been in food. Kailan sees this as an opportunity. Does he mean murdered? Do not discuss them openly. The guild has many ears. You may ask some of the Yeah, sure. I'll be careful who I talk to. Wise for the sake of your career. Alright. Well done! That fight was much better than this one. I like that you're just getting drunk. With all the pure water pouring from the palace, you'd think they might have learned how to make wine that didn't taste like goat piss. There we go. Black whirlwind. That is you. Are you back? No, just here visiting. And making sure nothing happens to your newest fighter. So you won't be... No, leave it alone, Kui. You know better than to bring this up. Just mind your business, promoter, and I'll mind mine. Dang. He, uh, you travel in curious company. Regardless, when you're ready, come talk to me again. Okay. How do you know the boy? I know him, yes, but I know better than to contravigate his wishes. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must... Pre uh -huh. You should talk to the other fighters here. They've been watching. Can't I fight now? It's just a matter of preparing the proper documents. Why don't you kill the time by making your way out in... Uh. Actually, that reminds me. A woman was here watching your fight against hapless Han, dressed all in... Okay. Just before she left, she told me to tell my new fighter that she was still waiting to see you. She said... Yeah, I'll see her when I'm ready. Hey, can we now fight in the Bronx? Many, many people try to... Alright. You deserve it. It was an honor to... Crimson Kana is the champion of this round. Dad, tell me about my next Your fight. next fight? I'd love to, but I'm... Besides, didn't you have... Okay, great. Crap. Guys, where is she? Hapless Han, do you know where... No, I don't want to go to the creature pins. I severely doubt that she's down there. Black Whirlwind, do you remember where we're supposed to meet Fox? She's somewhere. I have a better idea. The, the city's not that big. Where the crap is she? Let's see here. Uh, somebody... Speak to Lady Renko. Silk Fox. 
Silk Fox is, in fact, the princess, the daughter. She seems to develop personal interest. She's clearly adept in manipulating others to your goal. I may challenge her. Wait, well, how about... Hmm... Hum... Where do we meet her? Alright, oh wait, hold on. We got plot items. Letter from Princess Leanne, there we go. Careful, meet me at the pavilion. At the entrance to the Scholar's Garden. Alright. We got this, we got this. Whatever, whatever, none of you are Lady Renton. Lady Renton, tell me about yourself. Wait, where's this bamboo cask? It needs to die! Open. Lustful Lau, that- Oh, we're gonna talk to him next episode. Lustful Lau! He knows how to party. I'm assuming. Hi, right, so Fox. You little quest interruptor. All right, so there's some sort of gazebo or something. Uh, yeah, I know, I got one point. All right, so, Merchant Square. Oh, this is so silly. Golden Way. So I'm guessing I hang a right? The controls in this game are somewhat silly. Do, 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 do. Isn't this the... Good day, sir. Uh, can you have some minor it's things? The honorable Lotus Assassins, you see. They feel that those of us dead... Any member of the army, even city guard. Okay. This area is known as the Market District. On the north side of the district is the Imperial Arena. The heart of the Empire Tavern in the upper level is a nice... Okay. Place. Oh, yes. There's the Black... I need help finding my way. Uh, the Scholar's Garden. The garden is just off the Golden Way, so you need to head there first. One of the guards in there can take... All right. The Golden Way is through a gate in the southeast corner of this district. The garden is just... All right, garden. nope. Is this... It's this right? Is this the Golden Way? All right. Fine. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, I'm Sky! I fight at Leonardo, and I have his voice. All right, so let's find Silk Fox. If that is her name... Commoner, you're not it. Uh, you look like a pavilion if I've ever seen one. <clears throat> your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. What? You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. What? Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. This... oh no, I want to end this episode. seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A uh, noble could afford sloth. What? What are you doing? Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. This... Justify yourself? Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. This guy's great. Or cease this instant. You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Okay. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. Oh, explain yourself. An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. Uh-huh. He balks at our attempts to calm him and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs value. to go. Why is he so different? The Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. Ooh. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. 
Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe, but that will not last. Uh -huh. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for... Th okay. Perhaps I can reason with this outlander. That's what's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange fight. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence, too, getting rid of this new... I will teach him not to mock our culture. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Se he is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Oh, I'm excited for the next episode, because I am going to face some sort of firework monster... Or something. All right. Before I step any further, let's call this uh, let's call this a day. This is much more interesting than the arena. So we'll see you next time on Pat plays the Jade Empire.